Hello. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. Thank you for being here. I appreciate you very, very much. Okay, today I wasn't even going to film. I wasn't. But I thought I would do like, yeah, a vlog style video. Not like last time where it was literally just a glute, beginner glute workout. This is going to be kind of like a mix up. Like what happens in either just one day or a few days of my life but yeah let's see how it goes <laughs> i did receive a package from Ek. this is the package i got from Ek apparel i get sent stuff like every month or two to film in for tiktok um i forgot what i i ordered Forgot. So you get to see with me. Let's see, let's see. Okay. Yep. So I ordered these shorts last time, but they were way too small for me, so I ordered them again in my size. These are scrunch bum shorts, just like the ones I'm wearing now. These are pants. Black pants. Brown top. You might even see it. There you go. Right. And oh, I remember ordering this, and I don't know how I feel about it. But it was just cute. Okay, just cute. Look at that. <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to wear it, but it's just a cute little top. And that's it. So I have to make two videos with those outfits. Yeah. Okay, so I'm actually waiting for the washing machine to finish so I can go to gym. I'm doing a back day today. And I'm about to have a pre-workout snack. I'm actually going to have a bagel because carbs. I need carbs because I'm really, really tired today. So I'm going to have that and I'll show you that. And then I'm going to show you my pre-workout routine. Okay. I don't want them to drop because I'll be very sad because this is my last bagel if they dropped. But look how good it looks. Bagels are honestly like, I only started eating them last year. So much better than toast. No, you just taste. They're just different, you know. They're just really freaking good. I'm obsessed with them. I was obsessed with them a while ago, and then I went off of them because they're a bit expensive. But now I'm back on the train. Mhm. Mm I feel like if you're not eating before working out. I know a lot of people don't and that's fine like there's no wrong or right way to do things I feel like there's always something everyone is different so they'll feel differently towards it their body will react differently towards it but I feel like eating something before going to the gym because I won't start working out for another like hour so even an hour and a half to be honest but it's so important to eat otherwise I'm just my body is just going off of pre-workout and I don't like that and I feel sick. But when I have something like this, like heavy carbs, it drives my workout so much better because I'm using actual energy, not just pre-workout, which is caffeine. So, yeah. This is your sign to eat a bagel before you work out. Okay, I am making my pre-workout now. Today... I am going to be having women's best pre-workout. I don't want to focus on my face. Honestly, this is my favorite pre-workout right now. It has a little bit more caffeine in it, and I can tell. I think it has a bit of beta alanine in it as well, actually, because I can feel it, unless it doesn't. But I feel like it does, you know? I don't know. 
because beta alanine gives you kind of a bit of tingles and stuff only a tiny bit though it's not a lot at all it's very subtle but i like it a little bit so i've been really liking women's best pre-workout so one and a half scoops of that I just dropped my whole creatine tub. I've seen this happen on TikTok and I always think, what a dumb, what a dumb person. But now I've done it. What, 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 what? And creatine is so important to me. That just waste. <laughs> Okay, obviously I just had to vacuum that up. So, I'm back. I, thank God, there's still heaps of creatine in the tub. Oh, I thought I lost it all, to be honest. But I didn't. Only like one third. <laughs> okay, so, I'm going to put some, I put my creatine in there. And then we're going to put ice cubes in it. I like these big ones from, I got this from Kmart. They just last longer, the ice doesn't melt as quick, which is good. I'm gonna put two in there. And by the way, I'm a very klutzy person. Um, klutzy? Clumsy, I am a very clumsy person. So if I do things like this, that's just who I am, okay? <laughs> This flavor is tropical punch and it does taste very good. And they have so many flavors as well. Woof. It's good. It's very, very good. And before I forget, I did want to quickly mention that I am officially partnered with Women's Best Now. They an amazing company I've literally been following them since I was I think 14 or 15 years old which is a very long time and like that is the first brand that I ever ordered supplements off of ever and recently they've started coming out with apparel as well which is cool because I'll be able to show that as well and yeah I just can't believe I'm partnered with them now and I've literally been following them for seven eight years and i've always wanted to be a part of it but i didn't know i'd be doing this for my career so i don't know i don't know it's just cool but yeah i do have a discount code it's just jade in capital letters j-a-y-d-e which supports me immensely if you do use it and you do want to get some supplements women's best is amazing and their protein powder one of the best tasting protein powders I've come across, to be honest, like better than the ones I go to in Nutrition Warehouse or other companies that sell a lot of different proteins. I've tried a lot of different proteins before. This one by far goes down the easiest with water and it tastes so good. And this is only chocolate. I don't know what the vanilla one tastes like or their other flavors that they have, but they have quite a few flavors and they all look really good. So I'm excited to try them, but chocolate, so good and this is the protein powder that I use to make my protein cheesecakes the Biscoff ones so 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 good so good I would even buy a tub just to have to make my protein cheesecakes if that makes sense because I don't need to have protein every day because I get most of my protein through my food so I don't need to use protein to Word, substitute a meal or anything like that because I like to get it through my food but if I want to have a dessert that is better for me so it has more protein then that's when I make my Biscoff protein cheesecakes so yeah I am also taking BCAAs with me to the gym I haven't drunk BCAAs at the gym for a very long time I used to do it 
all the time, every single day. Without without a doubt, I would do it. But I haven't had BCAAs really, so when I got this, I'm like, okay, I'm going to start doing it again because I feel like it does keep me hydrated through my workouts. Usually, I don't drink anything through my workouts, which is really bad, not even water because I leave my water bottle in the car because it's too heavy <laughs> in the gym bag. But now I'm going to make a conscious effort to drink more water. So I'll do that by drinking my BCAAs throughout my workout. Okay, we just pulled up to the gym. I'm still, oh my God, I still have so much to drink. I didn't realize because I was very concentrating, concentrated when I was driving because I was on the highway. So Anyway, I'm just pulled up to the gym and it's 1.20, which is usually like a quiet time, I would say, because it's just after lunch and just before peak so I really friggin hope that I can film on my camera today because otherwise the whole intro was a flop and I don't want it to be a flop so yeah I'm praying to God I have the confidence to film my whole back workout I just need to not think about anything just think about myself and just think about you guys and how videos like this do help so many people so just not gonna, I'm just gonna pretend no one exists around me, okay? You got this, JD. But yeah, I will see you guys in there. Okay, so obviously we are starting off with some dynamic stretching. I love using the pole to stretch. I feel like, I don't know, it just feels the best. And I don't actually have bands yet which is funny, I should have bands actually, but I am going to get some soon. But yeah, we're just doing little variations here with the pole. And yeah, try to do it for like two minutes, I'd say. And if you really feel like you need to do it again, then you absolutely can. And you can also do arm swings as well without the pole if you don't have a pole. And yeah, warm up, warm up. Okay, so... We are going into first bent over dumbbell rows. I actually did do barbell bent over rows. This I just did for the video because I was too shy to film the barbell bent over rows because there was a lot of people. But yeah, we're doing three times eight each side of those. And then we're going to go into lat pull downs. So what you want to think about with this is pulling from your lats. Don't use your biceps or your arms wholly. You want to visualize using your lats only and pulling down. You don't have to pull all the way down to your chest either. Pulling down just to your chin is fine. And we're going to do three times 10 of these and try to make it heavy. Okay, we are now going into seated cable rows. I love this machine. I feel like you can go quite heavy in this exercise, so do try to challenge yourself. We are going to do three times 10 to 12. So, yeah, seated rows. Okay, now we're going into one of my favorite back exercises, which is straight arm pull downs on the cable machine. You can use a rope or you can use a straight bar. It's whatever you have access to. And again, you want to focus on pulling through your lats. So don't use your arms. Think about your lats. Your arms are going to stay straight the entire time. We are doing three times 15 to 20 of these. So it's more like a burnout exercise, if that makes sense. Okay, now we are going in to three sets of 10 reps of hammer curls. You want to keep your chest nice and proud and you do not want to swing your arms back far at all. You want to keep your elbows kind of in line or if not in front of your hips and curl up. And then I am having a sip of my BCAAs because I am thirsty and I haven't obviously drunk much of it throughout the session. So got to get it in. And now I'm going into a drop set of dumbbell bicep curls. This was actually really friggin' hard, like so much harder than I expected. So we're going to do as many as I can for the heaviest weight. And then I'm going to drop and then I'm going to grab the middle weight. 
and I did not do as many as what I thought at all. So again, keeping your elbows really nice and tight to your hips. Do not swing. I did swing a little bit because it was really hard. Look at me. Oh, I look so ugly. <laughs> and then we are going into the last set, thank God, which is the lightest. I think it was five kilos. Yeah, five kilos. And this was actually so hard. Try to keep really tight. Do not swing. I don't think I got many reps in, to be honest. I thought I would do so much more. But yeah, and that's it. And then I'm finishing off with 10 minutes on the Stairmaster at level 10. Oh, ignore the patch. Ignore that, okay? Anyway, I just got home and I am doing some online client programming right now, but I am having a protein shake. I'm having the women's best chocolate protein powder. And that's all I'm going to have until dinner because I'm actually having Chinese for dinner from my favorite Chinese restaurant. And yeah, not going to track that, but I have tracked the rest of my day and it's looking fine to have Chinese. But yeah, I might show you guys that. I'm not sure how much longer I'll make this video. I don't know if I will drag it into another day because I feel like it's long enough now. But yeah, we'll see. Also, the gym was a bit busy. Like, it wasn't packed, but it was a bit busy. And I was really shy. Really, really shy. I did my first two exercises and I didn't film them. I had to wait till later to film them. Um, the only exercise I didn't film was pull-ups on the assisted pull-up machine. But I just went into the bathroom. I set up my tripod in the bathroom and I was just just breathed and I'm like you got this and then the whole session was fine I didn't care anymore it's just when I initially go in there it's friggin it seems impossible but once I get my body moving and I just think like okay like this is your job just do it then it's fine so I did it I did it for you guys okay guys I am gonna wrap the video up here because I feel like it's a bit long um I'm having an ice cream before bed because I always do because I always put it in my calories but if you watch this video thank you very very much please let me know in the comments below what you guys want to see next I'm happy to do whatever you guys want me to do um but yeah I will catch you in the next video Bye, guys.